Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today we'll be looking at how to receive supernatural abundance from God. God couldn't have created you to punish you. He created you to polish you and make you successful and fulfill your destiny. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. When a child of God remains poor, that makes redemption looks fake. Because God says that Jesus became poor. So why do we accept that he became sin? that we might be righteous. Christians tend to accept that, that Jesus became sin, that we might become righteous people. And we don't seem to accept that he became poor, that we through his poverty might become rich. I often wonder why Christians easily accept the area of sin and righteousness and we tend to leave or forget the area of prosperity that Jesus became poor that we through his poverty might become rich for the heavens belongs to God and the earth and everything in it he has given to his people and to his children therefore if God has given you the earth and everything in it. You don't have any excuse to be a beggar on earth. Every Christian is born into the family of wealth. God delights in the prosperity of his servants. Don't behave like the elder brother of the prodigal son who was going for a kid when there were fat cows in his house. Anytime you want to ask God for something, ask for the best. Don't settle for less. Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Let me show you something in Luke chapter 7, 22. Jesus answered and said to them, go and tell John, the things you see and hear. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Note that when it comes to the poor, Jesus says that the gospel is preached to them. You see, this is where a lot of Christians miss it. You don't pray for poor people. You preach the gospel to them. Poverty is not a prayer issue. It is knowledge issue. Financial prosperity is a product of applied knowledge. In Luke chapter 4 verses 18, Jesus repeated again. He said the same thing. He said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor in order to receive supernatural abundance from God. You need to understand that God is your source. God speaking in Haggai chapter 2 verses 8, he said this, The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord God of hosts. It is imperative to understand that God is the source and the owner of wealth and prosperity. It will amount to ignorance and stupidity to think that the devil has anything to offer because it is the blessing of God that makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. The devil has no wealth. He has no riches. Anything the devil gives you, 
be ready to pay for it. Don't be envious of people who use dubious means to get rich from the devil. Just watch how they end up. If you must enjoy kingdom wealth, then you must look up to God as your source. Every good gift and every perfect gift comes down from above, from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Humble yourself and know that God is your source. In spite of riches, in spite of wealth, in spite of prosperity, remain humble. Wealth is not allowed to rule you. The moment you begin to trust in your riches, you eventually see yourself as the person who obtained it and you become proud. Once you are proud, you are in trouble because God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Anybody under the sound of my voice who you are rich, you are well to do and you are financially secure and stable, humble yourself because if you don't, God will bring you down. If you want to maintain a continuous financial flow from God, then remain humble. Never allow people to cry when you can use your finances to support them in their struggles. Joseph was a house servant who became a prime minister within 24 hours. The person you look down on today can become a president tomorrow. In the kingdom of God, never look down on anyone because in the kingdom of God, everybody has equal opportunity to be at the top in order to receive a supernatural abundance from God. The second thing you must know and do is obedience. It takes obedience to God's principles and instructions to prove that you acknowledge God as the source of your financial supply. If they obey and serve me, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. Kingdom wealth is for those who obey God. If God is your source, you will never struggle to pay your 10% tithe and give quality offerings. You will just do it because you know that if you don't obey, the heavens will close. Never trust mortal men as your financial source. If you trust a mortal man as your source, you will soon run out of financial resources. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Whenever you live in disobedience, biblical truth will become a burden to you. You will struggle to believe and obey biblical truth. God gave a powerful condition in Deuteronomy 28. He said this, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandment, which I have commanded you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. The condition is if I want to submit to you that what gives value to knowledge what gives value to biblical truth is obedience because the knowledge that you don't obey is of no use. The law of abundance anchors on the covenant of seed time and harvest. As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest shall never cease. That is the law of God and the covenant 
he has with his people. And we must obey it if we are to receive a harvest from God. Then we must be ready to sow seed, to sow the seed of our time, our resources, our finances, in order to receive a harvest from God. You can fast and pray until Jesus returns. You will never receive abundance from God if you are not a sower. There can never be a return without an investment. If you are expecting a financial breakthrough and you haven't received it, that's because you haven't sown a financial seed. In order to receive a supernatural abundance from God, you must first understand and know that God is your source. And secondly, you must obey God's principles and instructions. And finally, live by the principle of sowing and reaping. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. And we thank you for teaching us about how to receive a supernatural abundance from you. Heavenly Father, help us to acknowledge you that you are our source. Help us to obey the principles and instructions of your biblical truth. And help us to live by the principle of sowing and reaping. May you grant us wisdom as we live our lives and serve you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this message. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>